welcome back everyone to PBA to Z. In a prior video, I've uh, shown you how to create the database in SQL Server, and um, also I have uh, done a video to you know how you can use uh, SQL statement to delete the existing database. And uh, today, in this uh, short video, I'll be showing you how to create a table and the data fields in the SQL uh, table. Okay, so going ahead to uh, before we dive into the code, uh, here is the you know the link that I'll put in the video description. It's a really useful uh, uh, link where it shows uh, different uh, databases and uh, servers uh, with their data types, okay, which are commonly used. So, for instance, uh, if we look at um, like the text and uh, access database is called memo or text in SQL Server is varchar and then so on in other you know. Uh, MySQL and so on. Okay, so this is the code uh, put in together. Uh, we'll rewrite this uh, in just a while. Um, so here our connection is uh, different. If you look at yesterday's connect, uh, the one we did yesterday, it has um, uh, the connection string has a driver SQL Server and then the server name is LP PC and uh, now we are connecting it to the same server and uh, using the same driver but we are connecting it to our database which we created which is called transact db okay so here i have uh, i have um, you know the data sample that i've laid out and uh, which we'll use to create a table and then we'll use uh, the code to you know load them so i'm just gonna transpose this um, let me just transpose it here so we have to create this data fields okay so <coughs> excuse me so here i have a SQL statement for instance uh, that i created uh, so that i can make sure that it's working before i show it to you guys so if you look at this um, the statement basically is create table and then the name of the table okay so let me just make this bigger so it's create table and the name of the table and then the this is what I use as a primary you know key and then if you want to increment auto increment it by itself you can use identity you know one comma one uh, in uh, in the brackets and um, if you want you know the text you can use uh, it as a bar char and uh, if you want to use it for like a currency or a number you can use money and if you want a number you can use integer or you can use um, there will be more uh, number fields like uh, you have currency here for MS access we use double you know or uh, currency as well so you have a uh, very similar options here um let's see so all these are you know the decimals and then all these numeric things are available for use it for uh, numeric uh, values uh, so that depends on your uh, requirement so for now what we need here is the first one is going to be auto incremental and then all these are going to be bar char so starting from here okay the zip code we can you know even store the zip code as text or we can even put it as integer as well the transaction date is going to be date and the type is going to be text as in bar char uh, character variable character and then uh, we have uh, usd we'll use this as money okay so let's go ahead and create a uh, create a um, you know a table and then put in these fields and then this is going to be our data type okay so um, what am I going to do now okay so first thing first let's uh, you know put in here this let's call this table as uh, let's call this table as flows table db in short and then our primary ID we'll just call this as ID this is the name of the field this is a data type and we have to put in these extra things 
to indicate to SQL Server or database that this is gonna be my primary key and this is uh, this field is gonna auto increment the number by itself starting from one okay and then here we are gonna fill in uh, additional information like uh, first name and so on so let me just quickly put them together so So bar char and then you have these two fifty five that's basically representing uh, the number of uh, character that we want to put in. The error is gonna happen for now, but it's okay. So let me just comment this out just for a moment so that we can put it faster. So this is gonna be date. And then this is gonna be money. This transaction type is gonna be again barter. That is fine. And then now uh, we have a primary key which we have already set up here. Okay, so this is name of a table, and then this is our primary key. Which is auto incremental and then a first name last name i'm gonna combine all of this now city country state zip font email transaction data state data are still so far we've just done the text fields transaction type and then amount uh, in USD as money. So this is what we have right now. This is gonna be our SQL. So I'm gonna replace my older one and I'll close this with the uh, bracket and then don't forget to put in this semicolon. Okay, so, so uh, we have this uh, ready to try it out now. Our skill common. So let me quickly go and have a look at uh, if there's any existing table within that um, server name, and then I'll do next. I just want to make sure that there is no existing table within um, this particular database. This is the first startup, so it's taking a little bit of time. So there's a table called fin table. So we're gonna ignore that. We're, we're gonna run this uh, code now, which will create another table and it will show up here, okay? All right, so let's try and run this code. Uh, we have gone through this syntax already. This is basically declaring the connection, opening the connection. The only difference here is that uh, it has the database, you know, mentioned in the connection. Okay, so this is, uh, our, our SQL statement that is gonna be executed using this connection that we've created this is the line where it's gonna get execute or SQL command and then it's closing the connection and then you know exiting out and uh, if there is any error it's gonna exit down to error because you can see on error go to this particular portion so I'm gonna go ahead and run this code let me quickly go through this line again so first name or our last name company name address city state phone email transaction day transaction type and amount so let me just run this and see if it works so it's gonna create the flows tab table in transaction db okay let's run it it's done so i'm going back to my excel to see if that is already connected and then so here it is, this is our table. Let me just click on finish. Right, so it has successfully created a table for us. And the field names are the same name that we put in our SQL statement. So this is how you can use to, you know, um, create a database. Uh, similarly, like uh, we've used uh, to create a database, we can also, uh, you know, uh, I mean, like we've used the drop database uh, SQL statement 
we can use the same statement delete the data you know table that we have created so go through this link once and i'll put it in more links uh, for your reference to how to use auto increment fields and uh, it's just a uh, one-time understanding after that you, it's very easy for you to follow along um, if you want more reading i have put in the msdn's link as well so uh, please feel free to reach out to me for any questions in our next video we'll try to send data write data to our table that we have created right now and uh, let's see uh, if uh, we can uh, you know try to look at more examples in the coming videos so uh, watch out for more well, thank you bye bye